Get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore, it's no BS, it's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire, I'm Mike Costigan, the Agent on Fire, and the guy who once again is going to help you learn how to make a whole lot of money in real estate. It is truly the greatest business in the world. I truly believe it. I am so grateful to be able to give back to an industry that has been so good to me and my family. Think about how easy this is. There's no investing your money. There's no real gambles except a sign in the yard and a little bit of advertising, right? This is a great business and I'll tell you the easiest, simplest, best solution to making this like predictable, good money, happiness, peace of mind, letting you sleep well at night, that's getting listings. You have to get a ton of listings. Look, when you have a buyer, it's just, it's up and down, right? It's up and down all the time. You sell one buyer, you sell another buyer, you get a contract, sells a close. It's this roller coaster, right? Most of them don't even pan out. It's a waste of time. But when you get listings, it's smooth sailing. It's predictable. One sells, get another. One sells, get another. And I'm going to teach you how to get listings because nobody lists more homes than me. Nobody's better at this than me. My record month, I listed 107 traditional single family individual homes. And it's not that hard to do. It's just a little tweak in the way that you market and talk to people. So I'm going to show you how to do that here at the end with my Agent on Fire Blaze newsletter. Don't worry, it's not even going to cost you anything. It's going to be the simplest thing in the world. But right now, I want to maybe frighten you a little bit the way that our ads frighten sellers. That's right. You know, most agents, the way that they advertise, they're not bringing sellers in. They're just, they're annihilating any chance of getting in the door with these sellers. Most money that real estate agents spend on advertising is money just thrown away. It's not even stuff just thrown at the wall and tested against other stuff. It's just thrown at the wall and left to slide down and become the slime and the crap and the worthless, I, I don't even know, garbage that it was created to be. So congratulations, you made it. It is what it is, a stinking pile of crap. That's most real estate agents marketing. And why? Because most real estate agents, well, they're not marketers. And if they're not marketers, they're not going to be very successful. If you're not a marketer, I speak very frankly, I want to help you, but you won't be successful unless you understand marketing because marketing gets listings, listings get more listings, those listings get buyers that you can refer to other people and collect your little piece of the pie while you go out and get more listings. You have to learn to market. You have to learn to speak to people. You have to learn to show people results, right? There's this thing I call the tell then show method, right? You have to tell them what they want and then show them what they're going to get. And that's it. That's it. You can remember that little formula, right? It's easy. I'm going to dive right in, okay? I'm going to show you today some examples of some really bad ads, and I'm going to show you why they're bad, and I'm going to I'm going to try and keep from jumping off a cliff wondering why most real estate agents follow each other down this path of failure and doing stupid advertising, but let's just move past it. Let's dive right into the ads. Let me take you right into ad number one here. Ad number one. Oh my God, it, it speaks for itself. These are real ads, by the way. Selling your home should not be a pain in the butt. Now, I'm not really sure what image this is supposed to evoke. For me, I feel like I'm going to get bent over. I don't really like to get bent over, and definitely not in this fashion. I mean, would you want this guy, I'm assuming it's a guy from the hairy arms, hopefully, jeez. Would you want this guy around your wife and kids? Would you invite this person into your house? Right? This is not even an attempt at being cute. It's an attempt at being weird. Weird does not sell. You'll fail every time. In fact, there is zero benefit in this ad. None, no reason, no compelling reason for you to call this person at all. Wasted money, pissed away. Makes no sense whatsoever. Number two. This is a very classic example of real estate advertising. This is somebody trying to be cute. Cute doesn't work. You gotta give people a reason to call you. Now look, if I see two people in a grocery store and 
old guy sitting in a cart. Now, I'm probably going to pull my children away and go, oh, let's get around. I I'm going to go in the other aisle. But my point is, if you read this entire ad, there is no reason to call these people whatsoever. I'm telling you now, attempts at being cute fail. Lots of us do this. Not us, you. Maybe not you. Lots of agents do this. Okay, they, I don't know where you get the idea that going into a grocery store, sitting in a cart, is going to make a seller. And I want you to put yourself in the mind of a seller. When you're looking for a real estate agent, there's certain things you want. There's things you want to accomplish. So we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the psychology here right now. Okay, first ad, funny, not funny, gross. Second ad, let's really break down, break it down. Sellers have in their mind certain things that they want out of this. Things that they want from a real estate agent, right? They don't want stupidity. They don't want cuteness. They want you to get a job done for them. And while it's fine to be casual, and I'm a big advocate of getting down on their level, if they're in suits, wear suits. If they're in you know, cut off jeans and t-shirts, wear cut off jeans and t-shirts. Be them, build rapport. I'm, I'm good with that. It works. But don't just right up front be an idiot. Cuteness does not convey any message whatsoever. If you look at this, there is no reason at all to call them. Search all active, the, the home team, that's pretty original crap. It means nothing, by the way, even if it was original. Search all active listings, register here, and you'll be emailed immediately when a new property is listed for sale. Every realtor on the planet can do that. Every seller can sign up for that online. Buying or selling should never be a hassle. It should be fun. We strive to make this a reality when you work with us. One of us is available for our customers. Always. We listen to our customers' needs and wants and we return phone calls. Well, you should return phone calls. We have extensive knowledge of the blank area, both in well-established neighborhoods and many new things. Okay, it, there's no benefit. The only thing I see in here possibly is it, it's a hassle. People don't want hassles. So that's probably a little good benefit. But there's, you know, there's nothing unique. I call this an SOS ad, same old stupid, right? It's the same old stupid. There is no reason at all on here for somebody to even call them. In fact, they really don't even ask for it. And then there's some agents who choose to just be so abstract and so random in their advertising, thinking they're maybe being outrageous, which this really isn't even too outrageous, that it's going to compel people to call. This doesn't compel people to call. With us, you know where you're headed. It's a bunch of fools sitting on sleds, I guess, coming down a mountain. And my answer is actually no. I don't really have a clue where I'd be headed, and I don't think you do either. There is nothing else to this ad except with us, you know where you're headed, a bunch of idiots on sleds, and the name of their team, and their phone number, and their real estate company. There's zero benefit on here. The ad, in fact, itself has no correlation at all to even selling a house, much less selling it successfully. So I want you to really step back and just take a look at this ad and think, is there any reason at all that you would call these people? Give yourself the answer, the real answer. I, I know the answer. Nobody will call these people. Don't try silliness. Don't be abstract. Tell people. By the way, you sell them on what they want, not what they need. The last ad talked about wants and needs. Don't worry about needs. Talk about wants. Sell them on wants. Give them needs later. But here, this tells them nothing. There is no message whatsoever. Wasted dollars. Literally, dollar bills, just hundreds, torn up, lit on fire, thrown away to burn, turned to ashes, and gone. It's a waste. And frankly, it's an embarrassment. Then there's this classic. Number one. Do you believe it? Answer, first answer that came to your head. Do you believe this guy's number one? Nope. You think sellers believe it? Nope. Why? Everybody's number one. Everybody calls themselves number one. So it's not believable. 
And even if it is believable, it's an implied benefit that maybe something will come of him being number one for you. I don't know. Does he undersell all of his homes? What, what is it? Does he sell more, but he only sells more, more what? More little trailers? I, I, don't, I don't know what he sells. But nobody's going to believe it anyway. And the guy's wearing shades and running away. Looks like he just robbed a bank. He's got a thing full of loot. I mean, again, there's an element of trying to be cute in here. Cute doesn't work. It's a, it's a classic example of people not being marketers. This is what you have to understand about real estate, is that you have to be a marketer who just happens to sell homes. And you've got to be really good at compelling clients to call you to let you sell their homes. You don't actually have to be really good at marketing the homes because the homes themselves, they sell themselves. If they're priced right, I don't even care about condition, location. None of that matters. Price is relative to it all. Rotten home, price it lower. Bad location, price it lower. Prime area, massively high price. The pristine home gets a little more than the others. Not much, but it gets more than the others. Price it right, put it in the MLS, it sells. The technology is out there today. We can talk about how we're greater than selling at our selling our listings than anybody else, but you'd be full of crap. It doesn't matter what you do. If you put it on the MLS, it will be found. Simple as that. The best stuff at the right price sells. So you need to be a marketer, not an agent. A marketer who happens to be in the business of selling homes. And your marketing needs to be about attracting clients to you, not to your homes. Got it? Simple formula. And this kind of guy, there's zero benefit. It does not speak to the sellers at all. Nothing. He's the top producing realtor by gross dollar volume sold in this entire... Re I don't even think people understand what gross dollar volume is. Is he the highest paid? Is he sold the most homes? Gross dollar volume is that the, that the combination of all of his prices are higher? Did the guy sell one $14 million home that belonged to his aunt? It, just, it doesn't matter. It's a garbage ad. This one. You'll go wee, wee, wee all the way home. You'll pee your pants. Is that it? This confuses people. You have to actually look at this and say, what in the heck is this person trying to say to me? What are they trying to tell me? Will I wee wee after I get by the house? I, I, I really don't know. Confusing ads never work. You have, especially on a billboard, you've got about a second, right? It's literally about a three second time frame to get your message across. Think about somebody driving 80 miles an hour. Boom, you get it. You have no idea what this means. And there's not, there's no benefit. And there's not even a call to action. It doesn't even tell you to call them. It's just weird. Okay, I think you get the point. I don't even need to dwell on it. Now look at this. Honest to God. A lamb. Oh my God, I'm, I'm almost speechless, right? This lamb sells condos. A, a terrible attempt. Right? Let his team of experts negotiate your condo purchase or sale. I, I doubt he still sells condos. Because if he's spending his money on ads like this, this sucker's broke by now. Guaranteed. I mean, it's pathetic. He has actually put his head on a lamb body. What in the hell does this mean? And why would you let him negotiate like he says to? He's not even asking you for a sale here. He's not asking you to call him to sell your condo. He's just asking you to negotiate something. This guy can't even ask for a sale for himself. You definitely don't want him negotiating for you. But it doesn't matter because it's absent. The ad is absent of everything. There's no benefit. There's no proof that he even does what he does. And he doesn't even ask for a sale in the ad. You see, there's simple elements. And I'm going to give you the very basics here. Inside of Agent on Fire and the Agent on Fire Blaze and the Agent on Fire Blazers membership area, I, I teach all of this stuff and Blazers get a much, much more in-depth explanation of this and examples and how you can do this. But I'm going to give you the basic facts here because you can figure this out, right? You can probably get some of this and put a piece of this together yourself pretty quickly. I do what's called mass attraction marketing. It consists of seller benefit ads plus NLP and hypnosis infused conversations. Right now, your brain went, NLP, hypnosis, I don't know that stuff. You don't need to know it. 
You just need to understand the little words that I tell you to put in there. It just processes. It's not hypnosis like watch the clock, watch the wrist watch back and forth, whatever, the pocket watch back and forth, and you're going to fall asleep. It's not that. It's conversational hypnosis. It's the way you talk to people. It's the certain words you put in conversations that future pace them into doing the things that you want them to do. You do it in the ads, first of all. You give benefit in the ad. Okay, here's the ad. And we're not even going to go into the conversation. Here's an example of an ad. Your home sold sold fast or you can fire me. So what's the benefit in here? I see two. See, the brain works on symbols, and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. So I'm symbolizing by using bold text. Sold, they want their home sold, right? Ultimately, that's a benefit to a seller. They also usually like the home sold fast. They don't want to get to the last minute. They don't want to think about the spouse transferred living up in Michigan while the wife's still living in South Florida, down there partying without the husband, right? They want to go together. Husband wants her up there, or vice versa. Maybe the wife moved, husband's the party freak. They want to move fast. There's many benefits that sellers want. Fast is one of them. You got to figure it out in your marketplace. What is it? Is it price? Is it not the aggravation of dealing with real estate agents and buyers? Is it just get the most money out of the house? There's a lot of things, but you can write ads that have all of the benefits in it. I usually stick to one or two. So it's sold and it's fast. And then I reinforce with accountability or you can fire me. You're not locked into this contract with me. I either do what I tell you to do or you can just fire me. But the key here is you're talking about them. You're not putting a lamb's head, a head on a lamb, You're not jumping on a sled and saying, you know where you're headed. You're not saying I'm number one because that's all about you. It's not you, you, you. It's about them. And you talk about what they want. You don't have to tell them they need this kind of realtor. They need it. No, they want to sell fast. You tell them what they want. Give them a compelling reason to pick up the phone and call you. That's it. Even better... Give them a compelling reason to list with you right up front. And that's what this does. Element number two, these are not the only elements, but these are two really important elements. Social social proof. First you tell them, then you show them the result. When you do this, people will line up to do business with you. They don't even know why. The subconscious mind, where most decision-making is actually made before it even turns into a conscious thought, It works on symbols. You can show them what? Pictures of you and happy clients. You can show a picture of a nice couple. If that's your demographic, show a picture of a couple. If you got young business professionals in your marketplace, get some young business professionals, sell their house, do something for them. Heck, you don't have to sell their house. List their house. Tell them, get them to say that they liked what you had to say and they're excited about your program. People do what other people do, no matter what you say about yourself, no matter how great you are, no matter how much you preach it, it's never as believable as when somebody else says it on your behalf. That's why referrals are so powerful. You can create your own referrals by just using testimonials with pictures. Okay. All it does is it implies that this will be your result. What have you got? a group of 20 people together and took a picture like this big line right mike made us happy mike sold our house fast and it was so easy you know it's it's really it's it sounds crazy but it's really ridiculously easy talk about benefits in the ads and in your conversations you future pace them and you show them in your ads how they're going to look at the end. Show them the result that they're going to get. Show them something that tells them subconsciously, this will be your result. Now, imagine my ad. If I took this and I pieced it together, and I'm not going to do it for you. You you do this. You learn how to do this. Imagine my ad that says, your home sold fast, your home sold fast, or you can fire me. And then I backed it up with a little thing that says, 
I, I guarantee you can fire me if I don't sell it in X days. Whatever. It could be anything like that. And then I put a picture of a happy couple. I've got uh, older uh, upscale business professionals in my area. And I put some guy in a suit and his wife standing next to their luxury home and their little quote that says, shaking my hand. And it says, Mike sold our house in 13 days. So I've told them what they want, sold and fast. I've told them they're not stuck in this. If I don't perform, I'm accountable. And then I've showed them what the result looks like. And then I'll put a little call to action that says, call me at so-and-so or visit my website, agentonfire.com. That's it. It's that simple. You spend the same dollars, the same money. In fact, you'll spend more money because you're going to get results and you're going to dump it back into the advertising. This is what we call self-liquidating advertising, right? You're not stuck at putting out a few postcards here and there with these rotten ads that talk about you, 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 and they do absolutely nothing for you and you just lose money. You feel like you're doing good because you're advertising, but you're just losing money. Instead, you're spending the same initial money putting it out there, you're getting return on it, you're taking some of that money, dumping it back in, and it just recycles and recycles. You ever wonder how people like me went from doing little mailings, having to partner with people on my mailings, to then getting into postcards, and then into billboards, and then into radio and TV? It wasn't magic, it was smart marketing. And it was rolling the returns right back into that marketing and making it better and better and bigger and bigger and then a more well-known and more well-known. Next thing you know, you're listing 107 houses in a month. And speaking of listing 107 houses in a month, or listing a hell of a lot more than you're listing now, I'm going to give you what I promised you. I want to give you the greatest tool that anybody could ever give you. I want to give you a free issue of my paid, very exclusive, expensive $47 a month newsletter, The Agent on Fire Blaze. I'm going to give it to you absolutely free. Just go to agentonfireblaze.com. Yeah, sorry, go to agentonfire.com. Make it even simpler. On the front page, there's a big box that says, get your free issue. And I'm also going to give you a PDF with seven things you need to do. You need to learn in order to go in and get listings super fast in under 30 minutes or less and actually charge more money. So it's a double whammy. It's good stuff. It's free. It's easy. Go get it. Tune in next time. And we'll talk about, well, how maybe you can double or triple your listing inventory just by following the stuff in the blaze. And whatever it is, I decided to teach you next. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.